Yeah, my main issue um, as a working mother is um, about childcare. Um, having recently come back off uh, maternity leave myself and going back into full-time work, I'm concerned about the best childcare that can be out there for my child and concerned about the fees, um, if I'm going to be able to afford to go back full-time, if my child is going to be safe in childcare that I decide to put my child into and if I'm going to be able to afford to do but, so. Yeah, the price of childcare, John, is, is, is so steep in some places that it's actually not cost-effective to go back to work at all, is it? Um, yes, and that's half the problem. That, um, <clears throat> is it something we can legislate against? Is it something the government can subsidise? Would you like to see that? I, I think we just need to give more support to, um, to uh, parents of, of young children. Financial support? Financial support, and because it, it's, it's well proven that if you put money into education at a very early age, it, it, you get it back in spades in, uh, later, in later life. So we've got a package of measures um, for, uh, for children from two years old, but I, I appreciate that there are problems for people, retur mothers returning to, uh, to work after, perhaps after uh, six months or, or a year. Um, and, but I think we, we, have to, we have to tackle it um, as, as quickly as possible, but I think in the current economic climate, it's unlikely, there's, there's that it, phrase again. It, is, it is unlikely that um, mothers are going to get much additional support to what they're going to get at the moment. I don't want to speak for the other members, but in the current economic climate, times are tough. I'm, I'm, I, don't, I can't speak for the others, but I'm getting told we, we, must, need to, we must move on. I don't want to <coughs> leave anybody out. So we have a representative from uh, Friends of the Earth as well who's with us. Hello there. What would you like to add today? Well, I'd really like to say that the next year is absolutely critical for dealing with global climate change. And it's really given very little airtime in, in the debates because of the economic climate. But the impacts of the global climate change are going to dwarf what we've seen from the economic downturn recently if we don't deal with it now. And although all the parties have some headline policies on climate change that look very good, when you really look at the detail, they're not fundamental enough. They don't cross-cut across all different areas of government um, uh, activities. And I really think that it needs to be integrated throughout government policy. Your point is well made. We may address it if we've time. Tony's with us. Uh, I don't want to uh, exclude anybody. Tony, what's your point if you'd like to make it to our panel? I live in Moss Side. We've been talking about apathy. It's not apathy, it's a disconnection because there is media and political mythologising and demonising of some areas where people live. We have Mr Grayling talking about Moss Side as being like the wire. It isn't. I live there. Besides which, the wire's a fictional programme. He needs to learn the difference between the real world and where people are actually living. People aren't apathetic. We talked about people not voting last time. I didn't get any literature from the Liberal Democrats. Nobody from the Conservative Party knocked on my door. I'm happy. Tony Lloyd is a good constituency MP. I like the man. But I won't be voting for him particularly because he's Labour Party. I'll be voting for him for Tony Lloyd because the people right at the top are completely disconnected from what's going on in Moss Side. It's a different community. I've got neighbours from Somalia. The guy on the other side lived in Moss Side for 25 years. There's a West Indian lady who came in 19, late 1950s. There's students from Korea. It's a complete mixture, and it's not being addressed. You're not talking to us. It's a mixed bag, um, and they're disconnected. I'm going to talk to uh, Dr Russell on this one because he can speak generically, not politically, and I have very little time left. Um, the parties are not in touch with the electorate in some parts of Greater Manchester. It's, it's increasingly hard to connect with, 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 with individuals because it, what we hear are a range of issues that aren't really big themes, but they're really important to individual people's lives. They're talking about livelihoods, they're talking about jobs, they're talking about the connection they feel, the shrinking the gap between electors and elected. And, and you know, all the trends are that that gap's growing rather than shrinking. OK, well, uh, we could have stayed and debated for some considerable time, but I'm afraid time has beaten us, so I must thank on your behalf, Graham Stringer, John Leach, Susan Williams, Dr Andrew Russell, David Ottawa and our audience. Thank you for watching.